the UFC heavyweight division collision. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Black Mamba. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the temple. He got the turn on in that kick. Nice slip and counter there by Lee. That is, oh man, this dude is good. These guys throwing early. Oh, look at this out of nowhere. It's flashy but effective. The Minari roll into a potential heel hook here. This could get interesting. He 
might get a finish here. Brilliant submission defense there. Now it's his mouth. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Lee's pass attempt denied. Nice right hand. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Lee's back in full mount. about the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, a big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice right hand. Just misses with the jab. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA fall and watch guys now fight behind the jab. He is all about that left kick to the body. Punch over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon. Be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Five minutes in the books. Oh, we're getting a finish here. So with that, our next round is underway. It looked like maybe we wouldn't get here. There was a close attempt on a submission in the previous round, but the fighter was to fight another round. It was very, very close. It fits me, and I'm his coach. I'm telling him, get right back to it. This time, he will not be able to survive. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Punches blocked. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. A nice kick there by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. 
straight punch land. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in that position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Clean with the right hook. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, he's got the reach advantage, he might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Oh, single collar tie here. Big elbow there, Lance. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with that right hook. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh! So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity. Oh! Look at this, the Imanari roll out of nowhere. And now right into a heel hook transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. And he's out. Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Two minutes to go. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Lee. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Great punch. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice counter right hook there. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing, overwhelming him with different attacks. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Nice kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Wow, what a kick. Thirty seconds now to go on the round. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Right hook to the head blocked. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over.
All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this round. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Missed with that attempt. Sneaky head kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the... Oh, would you look at this? Into a heel hook. You don't see that every day. It's flashy, it's unorthodox, but proving to be effective here. Let's see if he can finish the fight. He might get a finish here. Wow. Going oh, right in the mouth. I mean, how many can he take? doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice body. Straight right hand now, just misses. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Big body kick. Oh, and he defends another takedown there, so it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him down. Great balance, great awareness. Move the head back inside. Turned that double into a single. Sprawled and got away from his opponent. Great job. Blocks that strike. Oh, nice. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus fits, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Big kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up 
when it comes to his aggressiveness, certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. He blocks the punch. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, nice jab. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We Ready? talked about his powerful Ready? kicks, how he attacks right. all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Good stick. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his corner, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Enters in on the double leg. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Great punch, landed with so much power. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Ooh, what a head kick. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Dig and kick. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him. Finish off the fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Beautiful strike. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want it. Throws the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip over. Oh, man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That's how you finish your fight. Oh, big left hook there. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Nice loop and punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big kick lands. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Take down attempt late, and it's good. 20 seconds left. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Potentially five to go. Hey, stop! All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, the action continues here and now as our next Ready? round gets underway. Ready? The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Big head kick land. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. That was a nice fight. Back and forth we go! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big right hook for the whip. Lands flush with that right hand. Single collar tie now. Oh, big punch land. Oh, misses with the jab. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Punch coming, it's blocked. Pretty good right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Big head kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. Oh, Great man, look right at now. that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg. Got to his position. Got another beautiful takedown. Back to the feet now. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, man. That... Oh, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. 
He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh! And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Visibly limping here. right hand is true. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, you no! shut the lock up. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, a huge block there. Whiffs on the straight right hand. One minute to go in the fight. What a punch. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's getting lit up right now, John. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, big head kick. That's a big strike right there. Head kick, that's a miss. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly